My name is Tracy Jantz. I'm the executive pastor here at the Assembly in Warner Robins, Georgia. I serve as a staff pastor and I oversee the ministries that go on here at the Assembly. What that entails is I uh, take care of the community outreach and see to it that our church is giving back, not just asking to be given to. We are a church that believes in uh, giving and caring for uh, our community in a way that is visible so that others will know that we're not asking the church people just to come to church, but the church is going to the people. On uh, December 16th and 17th, we have a presentation of the Christmas story. And we use uh, several different Christmas carols, uh, characters. And one of the main characters is the Grinch. Another character is Santa. And what we do is, is we take the story, uh, biblical story of Christ, and we take from the secular to the sacred. And uh, we make a presentation. We get involved in the commercial side of the holiday. And many times people uh, forget that there is a spiritual side to the holiday. So that's what secular to the sacred means. We are not going to eliminate the commercial side. We want people to enjoy Christmas as a tradition, but we want to always remember that the sacred side is the primary reason that we celebrate Christmas. And uh, that's why we do the presentation. This is year round. Um, as soon as we're done, we'll take a two week break, get into January, I believe it is the 17th. We have our next meeting and we'll start preparing for next year. Um, they made fun of us last year that we started preparing so much in advance, but it takes the pressure off of us. And as we move through it, so communication and teamwork is one of the things, is the major thing that has brought us to the success of this. We are a very large church and um, sometimes people feel like they're just a number, but in activities like this, we keep it very, very small feeling so that you know who you're talking to, you're not being talked down to, you're being discussed with. We depend a lot upon team ideas, you know, team is bigger than me and uh, we work really hard at keeping things small here at our church uh, so that it, it has that uh, uh, connected feeling, you know, where unity and camaraderie is really powerful. The rehearsal starts all the way back in September. They get their script, they get their uh, uh, information on where they're going to be, what they're asking. And then some people, they take a break, and so we have to interview and uh, cast new uh, individuals for different parts and different roles. This is the fourth year that our, our uh, that we've taken this approach, and every year it has grown. We have more than that this year, but I won't know until the end uh, when we recognize everybody, all the individuals that were here. There was 246 people that participated in this last year. We say that everything matters. Uh, from the lobby uh, presentation where we decorate our lobby, all of our decorators, all of our, last year they were uh, Buddy the Elves helpers. Uh, they were dressed in pink and they were dressed in green. This year they're going to be Whoville. And so we, we try to transition it up a little bit uh, each year uh, so that it doesn't get repetitive, but it has the same heart, same passion. We're certainly not the only church in town, but uh, we do have a DNA that's unique. We have a uh, chemistry here at our church that, that includes and people feel respected and um, utilized. We want to be unique in our presentation. We want, to, we want to stand out. We know other people do plays, but not everybody writes their plays from within. Not everybody uses their people from within. What we want to do is we love putting our people in positions to where they find success. It is easy to see how we can get involved. And that's what we're doing throughout the, the uh, uh, play is encouraging people to get involved where they can. Uh, everyone's different in their approach. I think that's what people want in life is how they can be used for who they are, not what they have to become, because God made them the way they, they are. And we want to encourage people that their story matters, and that's what this story does. It says everybody matters. Inclusion is a big thing. Um, we, we believe here strongly that God didn't just die for a church person. He died for everybody. He gave up his life for everyone, and everybody matters. Um, it doesn't matter your background, it doesn't matter your, your situation, everybody matters. So that's what this, the message is, is from all the way from the beginning to the end. That is the primary. We want people to see that, that more so than coming to a church, you're coming to meet 
uh, and have a relationship with a God that loves you. The goal for next year, I know what my goal is for this year, but next year, more, more. That more people see it, um, more people have an opportunity to hear, and more people are involved. Because it's not about the church, it's about the people. Our hope is in Jesus, but we want hope for others. We want people to, to experience God in a genuine way. And uh, I want more people to do that. I want people to know that there is a genuineness about God that uh, is not religious, but relational. And uh, it's not about the rules or the rituals or the regulations. It's about the relationship. He says that when people look or they ask, be very available to give them the reason for such hope in your life but do it with gentleness and respect. And I think our world, our community, our culture could benefit from more gentleness and respect. Let people make their choices and you love them in spite of your agreement or disagreement with their choice. And that's it.